Got Ty Barnett here. You know, you're coming off a little layoff, you know, due to some things that happened in the past. But you're back in the gym. We saw you was working out real hard, and you came and get that victory. Let's t tell us about that situation. Everything. Actually, not detailed in the situation, but not even the layoff, but your, your progress coming back into the, into the gym. Uh, you know, uh, I had to, you know, make a make that transition back to my old self. You know, I got back with my old team. You know, been putting in work, man. Added uh, strength and conditioning to my regimen. You know, I know I needed some. Uh, I needed to strengthen some of my weaknesses. You know, my legs and things like that. And uh, Keith, that square fit. You know, he's the perfect man for the job. You know, um, he got me in there doing everything I'm supposed to do. You know, I'm in, I'm in the gym back with my old team, man. Back comfortable. And you know, I got that tunnel vision back. And Ty Barnett is back, man. So how often are you trying to fight now since you've been back? Well, uh, I just had my first fight back February the 27th. I'll be back in action in June. You know, the, the, the news will be posted, all the info will be posted real shortly. But uh, I'm going to stay busy this year, hopefully you know, a title by the end of the year. It's, it's like you got that new drive. It's like that, that second win in your career. So. When, how, how often that, that you feel that you're going to be able to, to, to maintain this, 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 working out the same, and actually being back where you started? Well, I got a lot of gas left in my tank, man. You know, it was just a matter of me uh, eliminating a lot of uh, things that was uh, distracting me outside of boxing. You know, um, get my head screwed on back straight, man. I got that tunnel vision, like I said, got my focus back. So I'm going to be around for a minute, man. I'm going to be hot the game, man. These yeah. young guys can't really fight, man. Yeah. I'm going to show you. Yeah, I know you got a, your daughter. I know I seen on those, some of the social media stuff. I know you don't put her out there too much. Right. But that, that, I guess that's part of you changing who you are, too. Yeah, you know, I got something to fight for now. You know, it's not just about me. You know, I got a baby girl now. You know, that, that pushed me even more. You know, sometimes us fighters, it's more mental than physical, you know. Sometimes we need that extra push. You know, we need a reason to fight. You know, I, I got a reason to fight, man. Yeah, and, and even even now, you know, how fight has actually, with yourself, I talked to Dusty Harrison, it was it was yourself and Dusty that actually evolved and been, been on those Keystone cards, and now they, everybody's made that change from being on local cards to actually fighting at this level. How do you feel about that? Well, I feel good about it, you know. Uh, been at the elite level for years. You know, I'm 33. I'll be 34 this year. You know, boxing has got real hot in the D.C., Maryland, Virginia area. You know, but uh, we've been doing this, man. I've been a pro for 11 years. So, you know, I've been I've been exposed to all this stuff that these guys been exposed to now. Been fighting on big cars. It's just time for me to take that that step to the next level. That's so, all. And, and even even with your career, you know, you made that change. You know, you you being around the people, you're working out. Your workout resume has changed and everything. So, what is your goal now since you're back? Are you trying to make it to the world champion level, or or what is your? I can't I can't really speak for you, but what is your ultimate goal as, now since you're getting back? Well, my ultimate goal at the end of the day is to become world champion. You know, I didn't start fighting just to be a fighter. You know, I started this journey to be world champion, and I won't stop till that happens. You know, at least my opportunity come. You know, I won't stop until the opportunity come. I never had a chance to compete for a title. You know what I'm saying? So there's no way I could just stop and lay down. You know, I got a lot more to give, man. A whole lot more. There you have it, Todd Barnett, working back with the Headbangers. A lot of work, a lot of up and coming fighters there. With also with Lamont Peterson, always been at the elite level, and he's trying to get back himself. Original headbanger, one of the one of the first three headbangers to turn pro, man. Me and from Lamont, we the first ones to do it, man. Out of a stable of, of 20, 30 fighters, you know. So I'm just ready, to, you know, keep carrying the torch. And then when it's my time to pass the torch, I pass it. But right now, I'm gonna be here, man. For a minute, I'm gonna be here. There you have it.